How's it going? I'm Ash. Nice to meet What's you. What's going on, Ash? Um, I feel like around, like, to all the boys' time, you probably got all these questions of being like, which superhero would you want to play? Or Were you getting stuff like that back then? I mean, I think I maybe got that question once. It was probably me. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel to be Adam Smasher? Uh, it's surreal. It's magical. It's it's absolutely absurd. I'm I'm so grateful that they let me be a part of this. <laughs> it's nuts. I feel like it, this is something that you, kind of existed in a vacuum for a while, and now you take this stage, Comic Con, first time in three years. You get that energy from the room. What, what to, uh, describe that to me? Oh, I mean, it's infectious. You, you we went into Hall H and we sat there, six, seven thousand people, and you know, you, you I understood that the foundation to this film is, of course, the comic books, and the and the universe that has been created and been written. But to actually be here and to feel it, to hear it, to be in the middle of it, to show a sneak preview and to hear the screams and, and for you to, I'm screaming, they're screaming, everywhere we're all screaming, you know, it's just like everybody's losing their goddamn minds. Uh, it's, it's absurd. It's surreal. Tell me who Adam Smasher is. How would you describe him in this movie? In this movie. So in the comic books, he's a fully formed superhero, right? He's an adult. Um, in this movie, though, he's kind of a young man. He's a young metahuman that gets to, for the first time, take that first step into what it means to be a superhero. Um, he comes from a pedigree of, of superheroes and, and his grandfather was actually a, a super villain, but not by choice, he was kind of forced into it. He did rectify it in the end. And so, I mean, with all of that familial history, he feels a, a driving force to prove himself, mm -hmm. to find his way and his path and to do good and establish himself as, what, as, a, as, a, as a good person and a superhero. So you get to really see that transitional phase, which I don't think you get to see often. And it's like the same with uh, Maxine Hunkel, who is played by Quintessa. How do you feel about the idea of this being kind of a launch point for huge things? You tell me. Hiram's me. talking to me. Hiram was talking to me about spinoffs. He's like, I have all these ideas going all the time. We don't know what's going to happen. But if that were if to you, come up, how would that? If feel? you want them, you will have them. I am. Down. <laughs> so I know we're all super down. To, all down. And you know what? It's it's not just because the story and the characters are so fun and and it's 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 and, and good. It's it's because we all had such an incredible time making this movie. That's so good to hear. I mean. I couldn't have felt luckier and happier, you know. It's almost always a, a really good, fun time, and you learn a lot, but this was like family. I love that. You know, and I feel very blessed, very lucky. You mentioned to all the boys earlier, and, and it was the same on that set, and, you know, it was, a, it was a cherish the fact that we got to do three of them, and, uh, and I will cherish the fact that we get to do more of these. Yes, I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Such a pleasure.